Welcome to another segment of Lucia and Bean and it's Ask Lucia. Today I am going to answer two questions. One of them is styling one of our favorite pieces that Tessa and I designed. The other one is what do you do with bare ankles in the winter? So lovely, I am sitting I have to address this first because we are slowly getting housewarming gifts from all you lovelies. This is from my dear friend Katrin and Katrin were neighbors when we had our store in, on James Street. She's a very talented jewelry designer and she had her store, her boutique little store there and we were right next door to, to her and, and now Katrin is partly retired. She still does some beautiful work for weddings mostly. Anyway, she gifted Glenn and I this gorgeous pillow. It's the Vermeer, the girl with the pearl earring and it's a pillowcase, but I haven't stuffed it yet because I'm keeping it, once we get into the house, it's gonna be covering a wonderful pillow and I am so pleased with this. I think it's gorgeous. I, I just wanted to show it to you. The colors and everything, it's lovely. What a great gift. Thank you, Catherine. Today, I am very excited. A lot of you are familiar with my love for a mesh top. I almost never go without wearing a mesh top. Summertime, a, a little less, but in the winter, I usually have a mesh top as I have today. I have a black tank on and I have a black mesh top and I have this lovely car jacket from Chrisas. So I would feel too bare underneath, even if I wore it closed, I would always wear something underneath. And the mesh top is just a wonderful little layer that you uh, put underneath anything or just on its own. Yeah, it serves a purpose. It's not a fashion item, it's a basic. So Diane, your, your question, thank you for your question. It was very, very well timed too. The mesh top, it's great for traveling, right? First of all, I never travel without a mesh top, basically two, most of the time two, the white and the black. It's nothing in your suitcase or in your carry-on. It comes this little ball, it doesn't wrinkle, so you pull it out, you wear it. If you feel you need to wash it, you can wash it in the sink and squeeze to dry and hang to dry and it will be ready in a few hours. So it's a fantastic travel companion. The other reason why is that it doesn't, if you want to layer, it doesn't add any texture it's it's your skin it's like a tiny little layer of extra skin so whatever you wear if it's tight and you don't want anything bulky yet you want to add a layer of warmth you know it's usually for warmth or comfort then the mesh top is 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 your thing i wore it with the amazing i love these pants from up they are beige color textured i wore a white mesh top and then i took the oatmeal la lune sweater which has a bit of a a bare neckline it's quite you know there's quite a lot of skin showing here i felt good with the white mesh top underneath then it comes down to here right the sleeves you uh, they're quite long you can pull them up a little but then you have this covered and the whole thing felt really good to me i added a nice scarf and some earrings and a necklace and i felt great the color white and beige is so dear to my heart i think it's chic it's beautiful and it suits every skin color every hair color the other way i showed it was again the white under the Carissa's balloon dress in the sage color and this was somewhat of an event outfit that i pulled together and of course uh, a lot of us lovelies we are a little insecure about our arms we feel when we go to events like that we don't really want to show our arms so this is where you wear Wear the, the balloon dress. You do not want to take away from anything of the design because it's so beautifully fitted. The lines are beautiful. With a little jacket or a sweater. This way you can still show your silhouette. You have your mesh top that is really beautifully also great with this sage color covering what you like uh, covered. And then uh, you show it with a beautiful Ayala bar necklace uh, and a scarf and you are as elegant as ever. The other way of showing you a mesh top was with the zebra mesh top with the shoulder pad black Osainku vest and the Osainku pants. I absolutely love that outfit. I think that looked pretty amazing. I have all the mesh tops by the way. Every time we do a mesh top refill or a mesh top, I'm the first one to have one. <laughs> I usually have a small. You know my arms are quite substantial and uh, I don't like anything tied to hide my arms. So extra small, 
I will fit in it. Like this is an extra small, it fits me well, but uh, I feel a little bit more comfortable in an extra small. It's not nice if a mesh top has wrinkles and it's loose, it's not a good look. The shoulder line should be right here. This should be nice and fitted. That's how a mesh top should fit. So the other way, and this is how I, I wear it quite often. When I travel, I always bring an, an flowy skirt, usually a tiered skirt. And we usually have one in our collection in the summertime. This time we have the Liverpool tiered skirt. It's black. I wear a black mesh top. I have the Karen Kuna belt. And this time I wore uh, the little teal jacket from Krisas. Love this look. Wear, bring it with with me all the time on my travels. I usually have a jeans jacket with me and a little jacket from Cutloose or, or Krisas and a mesh top. And if it gets too warm, you take the mesh top off and you close the jacket or you leave the jacket open and you have your little cami underneath. Uh, don't be afraid to experiment. I, I think that is the best way and break rules. Like I am breaking rules with this outfit that I'm wearing here today. And this is a chartreuse collar from Krisas. Very textured, it's linen and cotton. It's a fabulous fabric. It's all pleated and cinched and when you wear it, it hangs beautifully. It's got polka dots woven into it, subdued polka dots. I'm wearing the Krisas car jacket, which is chartreuse too, a little different view of chartreuse, with a completely different pattern. And if you see the two side by side, you think, oh my God, no, that doesn't go together. Well, I've always been known to break rules. Like breaking rules is kind of empowering. It makes you a little feel a little oomph. Of course, I, I don't break the law, <laughs> ladies, but uh, it's fun to do. It's fun to do. And uh, you feel a little, yeah, you feel a little etchy and um, you feel a little good. So Diane, I hope that answered your question about the mesh tops and how to style them. So I can, I can go on and on about the mesh tops, but there's another question I have to mention. Now we go to our next question is from Wendy in Ottawa. Wendy, you, you posted this question when we first started the couch talk with Lucia, which is, I think this is our fourth one. So it was a month ago. And uh, we haven't answered you yet because we have a little bit of a difficulty to give you an answer because your question was, and you, you are such a good customer. You comment often about uh, what we do and we really appreciate it. And we appreciate you being so like in your own words, a loyal follower of Lucien Bean for years. Anyway, you stated that uh, we wear and we promote and talk about it quite often that we wear bare ankles and uh, we do it with pants, with leggings. It's true, we do. You asked if what do we wear in our boots or shoes? Do we get blisters or do we wear something? Yeah, we always wear something. We have little ankle socks or just little no-show socks that don't show. So we have bare ankles. I must say our winters are completely different from you. When it is really cold here, we usually wear booties that cover our ankles and then we pull our leggings up a little and we show a little strip if we are indoors and we like to show a little ankle. Outdoors quite often I pull my leggings all the way down when it's like 10 below. Uh, for sure, I would not wear outside bare ankles. But uh, Wendy, that hardly ever happens here anymore. We had a few cold dates, but that's it. Nothing compared to Ottawa. So that's why we were struggling with your answer. The only thing that I can say to you is like for sure you have a few months where when you go outside you need to pull down your leggings or pull up socks. When you are inside at work or if you want to show your ankle push your socks down and pull your leggings up. I hope it answered your question. Anyway I'm going to uh, talk a little bit now about my outfit because I really like it. So I'm wearing this amazing skirt right from Krisas. Long jacket from Krisas which is amazing too but I really want to talk about this necklace. So this is the Krisas necklace that they call it the Prue collection because it's uh, designed with Prue from the Great British Bake Off. And if you've watched it, she's very flamboyant in her dressing and in her jewelry. And I love this necklace. It's gorgeous and it's so light and you can play with it and you can make it shorter and longer. I have Sri Clio earrings and uh, this absolutely gorgeous Sri Clio bracelet, which I show quite a bit because I love it. And it has elastic so it's very comfortable. Gorgeous. 
Okay, lovely. What happened last week was, of course, exciting. It's, it's such an exciting time now in the boutique. Very busy and wonderful. And we've had uh, two creation houses came in. And there's new Bliss and there's new Majestic. Amazing Majestic. And a Sacket and Plover is on its way. The Sacket and Plover people let us know that the boxes have been sent. So that is something to watch out for too. Uh, we found an amazing jewelry designer when we went on our buying trip uh, a few weeks ago. It made her day. It was this lovely young uh, woman. She's from Toronto. She makes this unbelievable creative jewelry. It's completely different from Siska, completely different from all the lines that we've carried. And we can't wait to show it to you. So that will be an unfailing next week. So watch out for that. As always, um, you know, have fun with your clothes, experiment, and always keep on smiling.